Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, January 25th, and here are your national days. It is Florida Day. So this is the day when uh, the Florida became the 27th state, also known as the Sunshine State. Uh, and it's home of the oldest established city in um, the country. Uh, it was started in uh, 1565, uh, and it's the uh, by the Spanish called St. Augustine. So uh, there you go, Florida Day, 27th state, and uh, sounds good. Let's go. Uh, I could handle a little Florida right about now. Uh, it's a Bubble Wrap Appreciation Day. Now, if there's a better day out there that just just is... I don't know. I have a hard time resisting the urge whenever we get bubble wrap in the house from not from popping some because it's just it is such a soothing thing. Um, I can remember having an app that that was uh, bubble wrap, um, but th th that doesn't doesn't account for it. It's just it's such a good thing. Um, now, this is cool because I, I wasn't aware of this until I uh, started reading up on it a little bit. But um, bubble wrap was originally formed from two shower curtains that were sealed together uh, and they tried to they tried to market it and get this as wallpaper all right so it was supposed to be wallpaper and then uh, from there it went on to become uh, greenhouse insulation uh, and then finally uh, they came up with what was uh, going to be used to eventually package goods that were shipped in the mail. And the first big company ever to, to buy on to it was uh, IBM when they shipped out their computers that they were just starting to, uh, to mass produce. So, um, you know, bubble wrap has had a, had a long, uh, it, it, it took a little while to catch on, but, uh, the fact that it first started as, um, shower curtains that were supposed to be, oh, like wallpaper, uh, it's, it's, I, I can't imagine that being on the wall, but Hey, everybody's got their taste, right? So, uh, so there you go. Uh, bubble wrap appreciation day. It is opposite day. So whatever it is you want, do the opposite. So, or if you, um, you know, have that opposing voice, then uh, I guess today's the day to share that. So, uh, opposite day. Those are all your days. We don't have any kind of cool, fun food day because y'all know I like to, to keep those for last, but that's all we got. All right. So, let's see what our fact is and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So, you can't usually read dreaming. All right. Uh, that's a new one. Reading, writing, and even speaking are very rare in dreams uh, because the regions of the brain that are responsible for these functions, Broca's arena and Wernicke's arena, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Broca's area, read that wrong, Broca's area and Wernicke's area uh, are not as active during sleep. The exception, anyone whose vocation um, entails a lot of reading, writing, or linguistic creativity. So if you do something with that on a regular basis for like the, your main gig, well, then you're gonna, you're definitely gonna uh, dream a little bit like that. The brains of these people are constantly practicing in this arena. Oh, there's my arena. <laughs> uh, and therefore strengthening these parts of the brain. So even in rest, it takes very little work for their neutral pathways to access the areas for reading and writing. That's interesting. I've never really thought about the fact that when I'm when I'm dreaming, I uh, I don't typically uh, read, write, or or really even speak all that much. Uh, but uh, apparently, there's reasons for that. All right. So there you go, everybody. Hopefully, you uh, have a great day. Go find some bubble wrap and start popping or whatever it is you want to do uh, with it. And uh, you know. Uh, See what you can do. There's a there's a great Dude Perfect um, bubble wrap appreciation episode. Uh, so maybe go check that out and, uh, you know, see what you can do with it. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.